Alrighty, so today's a big day. Doing two reviews in one day. This is totally off the cuff, so bear with me if it takes too if it takes long. But anyways, I was around. I've always been interested in the Boundless Company. They've have they've had a good name for portable vaporizers, and <clears throat> right now I only get portable vaporizers. I don't own any. I don't own any desktop ones because they don't seem like they make sense to me. I don't know. I just like having things I can take with me. But anyway, I just picked this up actually down the street at Vaporstorm in Calgary. That's right on 11th Avenue in the corner, the corner of 11th and 14th, 11th Avenue and 14th Street, which is like just down the street. But anyways, this is the Boundless CFC. It's uh, probably their smallest model or one of their smallest models. <clears throat> they all have a lot of portable vaporizers, but this is probably their smallest one. And it's a, it's a nice looking vape, cool teardrop design. Has a nice little rubber grip on it just to make it feel sturdier in your hand. You know, a very basic, you know, button design. Like most vapes, they only have like a couple buttons. This one is power button and like like every vape you have to press it five times which I wish I understood why but every vaporizer I've ever had you've had to press them five times I don't know why it's not just three or four or six or once but as you can see it heats up in Celsius you can change up to Fahrenheit if you wanted to but since I'm in Canada and we use Celsius I'm just gonna leave it and out of the box, it's already got a pretty decent charge. Plus, it has a battery indicator, which is awesome. Because nothing's worse than using your vape, and then suddenly you don't have a battery because you don't know how much is left. But you can see it's already warmed up. That didn't take long to go from completely off to already warmed up, 230 degrees Celsius. That's its max temperature. And here you can use these buttons to up and down, though I don't know why they didn't totally indicate which is up and down. I guess they should just assume we know, but like us honestly, if I was to decide which is plus and minus, I would say this one, but it's not. This one is to turn it down, this one is to turn it up. So you can be very specific with your temperature, which is cool, though I'm probably not going to mess with that very much. Probably just gonna leave it at 230 because every vape I've had, the highest temp is just the only one having it on. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm dumb. I don't know. Well, I am dumb, but just kidding. Uh, also, in the box, besides this, it comes with your standard USB charger. So, and a little cleaning cleaning brush, nice little cleaning brush. Just comes with a card. Another cool, great thing about Boundless is that they have really great warranties. Three year warranty, so that's excellent. Any problems, you can return them within three years. That's really great. Also, the just little quick start manual, you know, your basic manual, nothing, nothing too fancy, whatever. But, let's see. So yeah, this has been turned on, and I have, I've never actually used this yet. Like, literally just came home, and I haven't actually used this yet. So I'll I'll do that review of that after. So I'll turn it off again. Got a little boundless thing on it. The screen's pretty cool. Uh, but one one negative I would say immediately out of the box was the fact that the power button is down here. That's really annoying because you're going to be holding it like this all the time, and the power button should be right here because that just makes sense. See, they could just switch whatever, these are the air holes. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. It's just nothing, it's, it's just dots that I don't know what they purpose they serve at all. But yeah, not having the power button up here is super annoying because you're holding it in your hand, either you're gonna have to switch it around or awkwardly go like this, that's awkward. And I just need to put this down for a second because I can't take the top off with your hands. Okay, I just took the chamber, the top off, and as you can see, I haven't used this at all yet, so the chamber is completely clean. Doesn't look too big, but I don't know, looks like you can pack a pretty nice bowl in there. We'll see how much that fills up later when I put some in it. Mouthpiece, 
it's hard plastic this is probably going to get pretty warm looking at reviews I've, I was looking at reviews online before I got this and they did say that this gets pretty warm because it's pretty close to the heating chamber so I don't know I think another thing about the design that it's nice to look at but if you want to stand this up you just you just not going to use, like if you wanted to sand this up just to load it up easily, there's just no way. You, you don't have a choice. You know, you just have to hold it one in one hand and load it in the other. So that's why I always put my ganj in a little pill bottle so you can just easily pour it in whatever you need to pour it into. That's a little tip for you, guys. Keep your grinded ganj in a pill bottle or something like that. So it is a very nice looking device. Definitely and small, fits in your hand. I actually have my other vape over here, the only other vape I own, the Aristec Herba X, which I wouldn't really recommend because the battery life is absolutely pathetic. Unless I just got a bad unit, but I like it because how small it is. And this isn't, this is only a little bit bigger. So. But see, as you can see, it's kind of hard to do anything with it with one hand. Like even just putting the cover back on, I'd have to put the phone down and mess with that again. I don't want to. But it's a pretty slick looking device. And I'll come back with you on a review of its vapor quality and whatnot. But this is the, uh, I don't know, part one of my review of the Boundless CFC. Um, wouldn't recommend, I'm not going to say I recommend it just yet because I haven't used it, but out of the box it's a pretty cool looking device. So I'm going to follow this up with a review of this actual vapor quality. But thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I don't know. My reviews aren't very professional. I'm always off the cuff. That's just how I do it. So thanks for watching.